Well, Butler did it. Butler finally got the job done in overtime. Butler Bulldogs played the Marquette Golden Eagles on Saturday at Hinkle Fieldhouse. Butler accomplished my birthday wish of defeating Marquette, of winning a game this year, as in 2014, of winning their first Big East game, of getting the revenge on Marquette from last year's NCAA tournament. Butler defeats Marquette 69-57 to in overtime. And the crazy part is Butler almost scored as many points in that five-minute overtime period as they did in the entire second half. They had 20 points in overtime to their 23 points in the second half. They scored 26 in the first half. So if you really break it down by the minute, the points per minute, Butler came out on fire in overtime. I was so impressed, so happy with them. Um, in this game, Eric Fromm had eight points on three of six shooting. He was two of four behind the three-point line. Kyle Marshall, 18 points on eight of 15 shooting. Uh, great game for him. Uh, real proud of him. Only one rebound. You who birthday gift, as this is. But yeah, only one rebound for Kyle Marshall. It's kind of surprising he doesn't get more rebounds than that. 16 points for Cameron Woods on 4 of 7 shooting. He had 12 rebounds, or I'm sorry, 14 rebounds. Guy's amazing getting all these rebounds for us. Alex Barlow had 3 points on 1 of 7 shooting. He was 1 of 3 behind the 3 point line. Uh, Kellen Dunham, 18 points on 6 of 15 shooting. He was 2 of 6 behind the 3 point line. Uh, Elijah Brown, 3 points on 1 of 5 shooting. He was 1 of 3 behind the 3 point line. Jackson Aldridge played, uh, didn't take any shots, so zero points for him. Andrew Shravis, three points on one of three shooting. Um, big concern, though, free throws. Uh, the only one that did pretty bad was Kyle Marshall was two of ten from the free throw line. That was it's like, what the crap's going on, dude? Uh, but basically, this is another game where Butler had to play catch-up. They were down um, for most of the game. They caught back up. You know, with a few minutes to go, took the lead up by four. Looked like they had this in the bag, and then they choked away the lead. Um, threw up a half-court heave at the buzzer. Missed it, obviously. Missed it pretty bad. Went to overtime, and then that's when Butler took over. Um, field goal percentage, Butler was 24 of 58 for 41.4%. Marquette was 20 of 65 for 30.8 percent horrible shooting for them. Great defense by Butler in this game. Uh, Three-point field goal percentage. Butler was 6 of 16 for 37.5 percent. Marquette was 4 of 24 for 16.7 percent. Free throws. Butler 15 of 29 for 51.7 percent. A lot of that was Kyle Marshall's fault. Um, Marquette 13 of 17 for 76.5 percent. Rebounds, Butler uh, had 39, Marquette had 45, Marquette had 13 offensive boards to Butler's 9. Uh, turnovers, Butler only had 11, Marquette had 16, and uh, some other obscure stats for you. Um, uh, points off turnovers, Butler 13 to Marquette 7. Second chance points pretty even. Marquette had 13. Butler had 11. Points in the paint. Uh, Marquette dominated us here, 28 to 12. And uh, not really any fast break points in this game. Two to nothing for in Marquette's favor. But uh, just a just a great game by Butler. Way to finish out that game. Um, not necessarily in regulation how they allowed Marquette right back in it, but great job in overtime. Um, Butler improves to 11-7 on the season, 1-5 in the Big East. Marquette drops to 10-8 on the season and 2-3 and in the Big East. What's crazy is a lot of people picked Marquette to win the Big East. Everybody said that they had all the talent. They lost a lot of guys from last year, but they got Gardner back, and uh, Devontae Gardner was the big one. And uh, a lot of people thought that they had the talent to win it the conference this year, that Buzz Williams has his breakout team, all this stuff. This team's really not doing very well. They're pretty bad. I don't understand what's going on with them, but, uh, you know, they should be beating teams like Butler and all that, but they're not. 
But anyway, Butler wins this game uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday night. Uh, we play at Providence. Providence is coming off a huge upset win against Creighton. Um, so hopefully they're going to have a letdown uh, after getting such a great win. And uh, hopefully Butler can get one more Big East win. So once again, like I said, Butler wins 69-57 to in overtime. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.